a remote and harsh climate. Antarctica is the backdrop to vital international research on our changing planet. It's an expensive and logistical challenge. It's incredibly expensive to do ocean to do uh, field work in the Southern Ocean and in Antarctica. So we have to make the most of every second we spend on a ship on the continent flying to Antarctica. Now there's another challenge. Internal communications earlier this month revealed the Australian Antarctic Division needs to reduce spending in the order of $25 million, 16% of its operating budget. An email to staff says cost savings could include reviewing the season plan, reducing spending on consultants and reviewing staffing, noting AAD likely won't be able to afford all current positions. We want to understand it so we can work with them better to resolve these problems. There's questions about its impact on research, particularly after pandemic disruption. If there's a gap in data collection, it's catastrophic for our understanding. If we have data up to a certain date and then we have a gap for three years, five years, and then we start the data set again, um, it doesn't make it useless, but it makes it really hard for us to get that understanding that we need. The AAD received funding to help with shipping while its new icebreaker was commissioned. The Environment Department says the end of that funding has contributed to the situation. It's quite heartbreaking and gut-wrenching for them, I think, when there is important scientific work that they know is being missed and they don't have the capacity to do. And when they thought there was going to be a bit of relief in that space and there was you know, some good sounds around some more investment in science. The department says there won't be job losses, but fixed-term employment contracts will be reviewed. Meg Whitfield, ABC News.